Hey guys, Tony Beats here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, it's basically going to be how to jailbreak your PS4 on 9.0.0 with a Raspberry Pi. Uh, once you've got it set up, you don't need a computer at all. Um, basically, if you just get your Raspberry Pi like you normally do and put the micro SD card into your computer like normal, I'm just going to do that now. Alright, there's the adapter. There we go. As I've got all the files on here, I'll, I'll read it all so you guys can see. I will put a link to this in the description so you guys have it. Um, it only works on the Pi 0W, Pi 2, uh, 02W and the Pi 4B looking at this at the minute. Um, but I guess you can remake it if you know how to do it all for yours. I'm going to do it just on the zero. I do have the other two. Um, just press download. And it will start downloading it here. I will be back once it's downloaded. Actually, I don't need to. Um, I've got the image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it because I already have the image here. Um, you don't need this page, this is just how I got to it. Um, I'm going to close out all that, and I'm gonna, you need the, you just need to, uh, put it on your micro SD card. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi imager. And what you can do is just choose uh, OS, use custom image. And where is it? There we go. Use custom image. Click on your USB or SD card. Just write it to it. It should take seconds, to be honest, guys. Shouldn't take too long. Now let it verify. This is all done in real time, by the way, guys. Alright, once that's done, you can just press continue. Close out of that. And now I'm going to change it over. Then I'm going to put the micro, the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi Zero. Instead of using the power port, put the micro uh, USB into the data port. And plug it into your PlayStation. Um, believe it or not, you don't need pat the power port to use this. Um, you just need the data port. Plug plug it in straight to the data port. There's enough power running for it to do that. And what it does is, if I now go to here, right, guys, I've just plugged it in. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I've just plugged it in. You, you want to let it boot. To be honest, once it's booted, you go to settings. Just so you guys know, I'm not jailbroken at this moment in time. You go to network, setup, uh, use Wi Fi, custom. If you do easy, it don't always work. Uh, and then you'll see Pi Zero pop up. You click on your Pi Zero. Okay, that's fine. Um, if you get errors like this, guys, just go back. It might keep doing it for a while. That's fine. All you got to do... All you've got to do is go back. There we go. Now retype it in. The password is literally just the word password. If this don't do it, you might just have to do it easy. I can't remember exactly because... Sometimes it works one way and sometimes it don't, so. Just depends what mood it's in. There we go. There you go. Automatic, automatic, automatic. Yep, yep, yep. I just press the top option on all of them. You'll get obtain IP address. It will successful and then it'll just cancel. Like error. There you go. Failed. Now you can go to your web browser. Oh, just so you know, guys. All these games are all package, fake package files. 
as you guys can tell, because they're all locked. Just so you know, I'm not joking around. Then you can go to just clear all or delete all, delete your browsing history. Go to the top here, type in seven dot seven dot seven dot one press enter or however you go to it and it will bring you to this page um then just press exploit plus gold hen v2b if you click on that web webkit exploited successfully okay not enough free m that's fine as you know that's that that happens at times there you go and now it's emulating a USB stick so you don't even need a USB for this there you go now you should be able to press OK it'll come up errors and there you go and there's gold hen um, that's how you do it with the Raspberry Pi guys. Um, these are all unlocked, but if I click on them. Come on. There we go, they're unlocked now. Ooh, they're unlocking slowly. There you go. They're all unlocked. We're going to just prove you that they work. There you go. Just to prove that it all works. There you go. And Cold War works. They all work, guys, so you don't need to worry about it. And that's how you jailbreak with a Raspberry Pi. Um, yeah, so if you wanted not to have internet and you wanted to do it by a Pi, you can do it by Pi. You've got, like, disabled updates, app dumper, so basically game dumper. You've got your FTP and all that. So if I do disable updates... It should do it. Come on. There we go. And you should get a notification. There you go. There you go. Disable updates loaded successfully. And it's come up disabled updates here. So yeah guys. So that's going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.